So the subject is the eight pronouncement heruka of the Nyingma tradition, in Tibetan known as the Kagye, the eight Kagye, the Kagye deities. Now there needs to be some background for this. There's really, in terms of uh, a wrathful meditational deities, there's three main groupings that we find in Nyingma. The first is a Guyagarbha Tantra with the hundred peaceful and wrathful deities. The second is the eight pronouncement heruka, and then the third is uh, various revealed treasure traditions. Now, for the for the eight heruka, we have a number of of uh, ways of looking at it. <clears throat> we we have to look at uh, uh, the origin or origins because there's several different competing uh, narrative narratives for the origins of the eight Haruka, um, and there's something known as the eight uh, Vidyadara, or Vidyadara, um, and there are, again, varying stories uh, concerning those. Then we have the types of the eight Haruka, and with that we have individual Haruka, with um, the central Haruka, and then whatever secondary figures he has in the mandala. Uh, then we have uh, the group of the eight Heruka all represented together with one central figure uh, with a deity called the Mahotara. And then we have later revealed treasure variations of the eight Heruka, uh, where the eight Heruka can have three faces, six arms with a consort, or they could be one face, two arms with a consort, uh, possibly one face, two arms without a consort. Uh, then we have confusions. Now the confusions are, are quite a few actually, because the eight Heruka are often confused in appearance with the Guyagarbha deities, the wrathful deities of the hundred peaceful, hundred wrathful, de hundred deities, wrathful deities. We also have the Bardo deities, which are based upon the Guyagarbha. Then we have Chemchok, who is in fact Mahotara and various forms. And then we have later revealed treasure uh, cycles such as the Palchen Dupa uh, and many, many others where uh, different uh, Nyingma teachers have come up with their own variations of the eight Heruka uh, deities. So it's not an easy topic. Uh, now, who are the eight? Well, the eight are divided into two different groups. They're divided into the first five and then the later three. The first five are considered the wisdom deities, the later three are considered worldly deities or, or transiting deities, um, or one of them appearing as a worldly deity but actually a form of Vajrasattva. So again, there's different narratives and origin myths as to explain these. So the five wisdom deities are, uh, are Yamari or uh, Majushri Yamari. Um, uh, Hayagriva, uh, Sri Heruka, Vajramrita, and Vajrakila. And, the, and these five are divided between body, speech, mind, uh, qualities, and activities, or they're divided, they're, that's what they represent. Then the remaining three are, are a little bit, uh, there's a controversy because some people say they're invented in Tibet, others say they must have come from India because the origin myth says they come from India. So therefore, they must come from India, right? Uh, anyway, in Tibetan, it's uh, Mamo Botong, Jikten Chotu, and uh, Mopadranak. And uh, these are three are used for specialized activities um, within this group of uh, eight Heruka. Now, how do they appear? Well, well, they actually all appear with three faces, six arms, and uh, four legs uh, with a consort. Um, and uh, generally, they can appear with, with uh, wings as well. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of overlap uh, between the, these eight, uh, the late, and, and many other deities uh, within the Nyingma tradition that are wrathful. So I think we're just going to leave it at that because it's actually a very complicated subject and it's very difficult to find um, any kind of comprehensive information in, in either 
Tibetan or, or English on this, we're really having to knit together many different uh, Nyingma origin myths and traditions to come up with some understanding of who are these individuals, what role do they have, and what are the real original texts for this subject. Press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and most importantly, you can donate to Himalayan Art Resources on the homepage of our website.